Hello, how are you? I want to talk a little bit about symbolism and how it's important to explore a specific symbol over and over and over again until it starts to speak to you. And so, as you know, if you follow me, I have a lot of snakes in my work and they continue to talk to me. And so I continue to include them in my symbolism in my work. And so when you are called to an image, it doesn't matter if it looks real or it looks stylized. It, what matters is that you explore it and figure out what it wants to tell you. And what I've learned through my work is that symbols come and go. Sometimes they stay around for a long, long time and you possibly exhaust them. Um, sometimes they are always there and then sometimes they are there and then they come back as a completely different um, symbol with the same meaning. And I guess I mean like they they come through with just a different different image. And I mean obviously I've been doing this same type of snake for some time and it's told me a lot and it continues to tell me a lot and so I leave it in. So I encourage you to take a symbol that you're drawn to and you can use, you can use whatever I'm using, you know, these are universal. These are, these are not mine. These are, um, these are for everybody. You know, the snake has always been a symbol of rebirth, of, um, fertility, of wisdom, kundalini, um, you know, it's, it can be representative of the goddess Lilith and how she was, um, shown as a temptress in the garden of Eden and in turn kind of demonized for her sensuality and sexuality. And so when I draw these snakes, then, you know, they, they get to be reclaimed as beautiful instead of temptress meaning something that's bad. Sensuality is something that's good. And so, you know, we, we get to reclaim our power through our art and it doesn't matter if anybody sees it. It doesn't matter if it's good. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just make it. And that conversation that you begin to have with creativity, which is a conversation with the divine feminine, that will awaken your inner Shakti. It will awaken that part of you that feels imbalanced. And, you know, as a visual artist, I obvi obviously use art as a tool to connect myself to that creativity. If you're not an artist and you never want to draw anything ever, that's fine. Um, you know, do you have a melody that speaks to you um, that you play over and over again? Do you have a series of movements that move the energy through you and around you that is that connection to the creativity. So what is your connection to the creativity and what are you drawn to do? Do it over and over and over and over and over again, just for you as devotion to the divine. And it will begin to whisper seeds of wisdom, plant seeds of wisdom throughout your whole body, throughout your mind and the more you focus on those whispers of wisdom, the less you focus on the ego. You know, the ego is saying, oh, that's not good. You can't draw. This is ugly. You're dumb. What the fuck? That's weird. That shit. 
needs to get out of the driver's seat and what needs to come out is what is true, what is real, what is just going to heal and um, offer you love and nurturing and confidence and grace and really just put you at ease. So thank you for watching my little video. I hope that you'll try a symbol. And if you do, please let me know what you're drawing. You don't have to show me if you don't want to, but just let me know how you're, how you're doing with, um, with exploring symbolism in your life.